hey guys, it is Last Bro Heekin. And this is the part where I'm going to start playing a little bit longer, where we're going to be transitioning not so much into the tutorial, but more of the true let's play of Wessex here. So, we just took over Surrey. Um, we're going to be gunning for Essex, Sussex here, and then there'll be some interesting things that happen with that due to cl title claimants. I'll go into more when that happens because it's kind of hard to explain. It's really hard to explain without even just some little uh, visual aid. So we'll worry about that in a hot minute when we cross that bridge. All right, nothing here. Oh, one thing I can talk about is laws. That's actually something that is vitally important. I'll make sure that that is titled. So we got laws here. There's three things to look at here. We got our inheritance laws, our realm laws, and our obligations. I'll go from easiest to hardest just because this will take a long time to explain. First is your obligations. It's pretty straightforward here. This is basically what your vassals have to do for you. So our feudal vassals, these are the guys that hold land, um, like our son here. I require him to give us a normal amount of vassals when we ask him to. Um, we can also change it to max. Um, um, we can change it to max later on when we have a higher legalism thing, but that's way down the road. Honestly, I've never even got, I think that's, okay, that's eight. Like, yeah, we need to, it's a long ways away for us. Then taxation, I don't ever really do that. Um, just because, as we can see, it really pisses off vassals. As we can see, the higher we would make it, like the, the more they give us for money, but they get pretty mad. City levies, same thing they can give us more as we ask them to right now it's just normal amount and that's fine we're good just another little chance thing like i said here we are we got some some piety oh i forgot to talk about traits let's talk about some traits all right so it's like a man all right we'll take that all right your traits have can will affect who you are and how you handle things wildly like so like there will be some crazy things that pop up so I can't address all of them because I there's at least 50 different traits I would say probably more but we have but as you can see all these traits affect our skills in some way so because our guy's kind he sucks at intrigue like he's not ever gonna be able to plot anything good but we got a lot better at diplomacy and our vassals like us more and if any and someone else is kind well they'll like us more but if anyone's cruel they'll be like ah you're kind of a weakling the next one and this is like always a good trait to get if you ever have the option to get bravery you want to do it it's great for your vassals they will like you more you're better at commanding armies the only person who doesn't like you are cravens or cowards shy um yeah so we're going to be taking a dink on the diplomacy shy and gregarious have their own the opposite is gregarious they have their own things looks like our guy's stubborn so that's going to affect our diplomacy and our vassal opinion trusting uh, so you can get trusting or I think it's cynical, um, you know, but it, as we can see, once again, we're just really bad at intrigue, but we're, we're peaking up on the, on the diplomacy scale. Zealous, zealous, there's just some wild things that can happen if you're zealous. This, the detached priest, this thing always right here, you will always get this when your kid, when you turn of age, when you turn 16, like obviously our guy here has a flamboyant schemer um yeah so these are and it looks like he's humble gregarious temperate so green usually is like if you see green things that's in some way related to um like the the seven virtues the usually green has to deal with seven virtues if you see red that usually deals with the uh is it six deadly sins seven deadly sins like sloth or um, gluttonous, things like that. So gray, gray typically just means that there's no religious thing behind them. All right, so like I said, we're just gonna keep moving here. And that's the only bummer about feudalism is that things can move slow. Like, oh, looks like we got oh, smallpox. All right, we're gonna hit those gates, seal it. Oh my God. Like we showed there. Okay, so it looks like 
Someone is small, showing the symptoms of smallpox. He's gone. We're throwing him out. Throwing her out. I usually will throw anyone out that isn't, like, related to me in some way. If they're just courtiers, they're, like, never going to... They hardly ever amount to anything unless I give them something to roll with. Ooh. Now, this is the thing... This is one of those things where I just... I don't quite know... Like, it shows our food is set to five. I don't know where you can find your remaining food. I have yet to see, like, a little marker that's like, oh, this is how much food you have. It could be, could it be here? I don't know. It looks like it. Like our supply. But I, 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 I couldn't tell you. Either way, we're about to, uh, yep, remaining food. Um, it's like we are... Uh oh, who's this? A steward. Looks like he was eating some stuff. We can do some wild things here. We could cannibalize him, change our remaining food to one. Actually, has some pretty decent martial things. Um, but we're not going to do that. We'll just say. Uh, see, like right there, we could have become, become proud. Hey, you know what? You son of a bitch. Where are you? Where are you? Yeah, you, you can't do that twice on me. Hell no. And, not to mention, we just became a lot better leader. Look at that. Look at that. Now, look at that. We're going to get a little bit more men out of that for, by, because we ate someone. So, my kinsmen, I'm just going to tell them you're an idiot. Uh, we should any minute here. Oh, you see it break up. Usually when you start seeing like the dust clouds break away, that means you're almost over the, uh, the plague. If you're if you just bought this game and you just bought the vanilla version with none of the D DLC, I would really recommend getting the Reapers do. It, it like puts a whole different spin on it, like you know, because obviously the Black Death runs through here and it just murders everybody. Um, so here we go. Here's what I'm talking about, where it just flashes. I just don't understand what that means. But we're gonna go with heavy infantry just because usually most feudal, as I think we can show. I can't, I can't show you unless I call them. But usually what that means is we can, uh, oh, scrap. Oh, interesting. Um, usually what that means though is, why can't I do this? You cannot create this routine. Huh. Interesting. Um, oh yeah, it looks like we hit our cap. Okay. I see what they're saying. All right. Um, but yeah, so. I totally lost my train of thought. I didn't even know what I was going to say. All right, whatever. Oh, one thing we are going to do. Oh, I forgot to even keep talking about the obligations here. All right, next one is realm. Centralization. You'll see more things pop up here um, as you become a bigger kingdom. Because uh, right now we're just basically a duke. It, it says petty kingdom, but we're at the level of a duke. It kind of goes like, oh, if the bottom level, you are like a vassal slash, you, well, mm. This is a tough... See, this is where it gets tough to explain. But I'll just say right now, it goes basically Duke, King, Emperor. That's the, the easiest way I can do it if you're when you're leading your own <clears throat> um, leading your own country. If, if you're a vassal of somebody else, it goes a little bit differently. But if you're just like me and you're going kind of easy, um, this is the way to do it. So right now, all we have is centralization laws. Basically, it talks about like how centralized the state is as we get more we can get a bigger dimension size a bigger realm size but as we go become more central we lose more the we lose the amount of vassals we can have so i'm going to push it up to low um so we can get one more uh on the dimension side uh this will help out it'll go to votes votes um you can see the list of open opponents these are the people who you want to you know, bribe, I can't believe my own son is voting against it. This will help him out in the long run. Anyways, um, you know, you can send gifts to these guys, uh, monetary gifts, or as we see, um, to be like, hey, vote for my law. Um, sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. Okay, this could take five minutes to explain just on its own, but secession laws. So I'll first do the gender laws. Uh, you can basically make it so... Agnatic, cognatic, which means um, a male or female could inherit the throne, but a male will always, if there's an eligible male, he'll always take it. Absolute cognatic is only women can 
or women can inherit on the same grounds as men do. So that just basically that means depending on what law is here, um, women have the same rights. All right, gavel kind. The titles of the ruler are divided among his children, with the oldest getting the primary title. If the ruler has no children who can inherit the law, defaults to primo, primogeniture. You get no prestige penalty for having unlanded sons, and you can have a 30% larger demence. Gavelkind is a very popular law with everyone except the oldest child. Destruction of the titles under Gavelkind succession is not allowed. So basically, look at it like if I had two sons, if if we were running with Gavelkind um, and we had two boys, <clears throat> this guy would take probably the primary claim, which is our petty kingdom of Wessex, as it shows that he is heir to. It should. Well, yeah, it'll somewhere down there it'll show. Yeah, oh, that very at the bottom. He's the heir to all of our all of our stuff. The petty kingdom of Wessex, county of Wessex, county of Dorset, county of Surrey. If we had another son under Gavelkind, he would maybe instead he would maybe take some of these holdings instead, split it down the middle. Next is elective Gavelkind. Once again, it's the same thing as Gavelkind here but you have to elect them. It's kind of like a little bit of a democracy thing going on here. Seniority, just the oldest member of the dynasty inherits all the titles. Um, that, and that isn't based on your family. That is just whoever, like this guy, because he's 29, oh, they're both the same age, or well, whatever. So let's say this guy was 39. This would mean that my kinsman, he's not even my son, would be in line for the throne just because it's the oldest member. Elective monarchy, I have... Never played with this, um, but let's see here. The ruler and each lower ranked vassal can nominate a successor successor among themselves and legitimate children. Dukes are valid electors. So I think what what this is saying, this is like almost like a true democracy. While Gavelkind or elective Gavelkind is an election amongst your kids, this is an election amongst everybody in the realm. So even like the the uh, the mayors and everyone else can uh, can become king. Ulti, ultimate geniture is basically just not the oldest inherits everything, but the youngest. I don't even know if I, I don't even know why you would ever use that to be honest, but I guess if you had a long line of sons and your first son kind of sucked and you're like, all right, we, don't want him maybe our youngest one will do it but i don't ever plan on changing that just because these let me see like these can be really hard to change like once they want like once you change it to one it can just be it, like look at all the things all the x's that we have to like try to kind of um knock off here it's it can be really hard to do agnatic pr primogeniture is the way you really want to go this is like pr the easiest transition of power where your son just your first son just takes all of your previous holdings the other ones can get real messy if you're passing because there will be times of the game where you just run through kings like water um so we're like it's just it's just a shit show pardon my french but it's just so bad i would not recommend doing that so all right all right let's explained laws um go low centralization as we see we now have two so we're going to take a little bit less of a penalty now for having too big of a demence all right my chancellor fine all right this guy is decent just let him kick it for a while oh crap i did not mean to have him improve diplomatic relations that's the only thing is when you set them out to do something, then you have to wait. Uh, you have to wait a while. So like as we see, I am not able. Ooh, our son just died. Well, all right. Playing as a bastard too, right? No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, he did have. He had one last son, did he not? Well, butter my biscuits. Yep. Just born. I was a true heir to the throne. Any keys of witchcraft. Burn the stake. We, we 
we, we came just for just burning a random woman at the stake. All right. Alrighty, so we're kind of cooking with gas now. Now we just kind of let we let things roll. All right, let's see. Rumor. Boom. Our guy's getting some major martial points right now. Jeez, it's only almost a bummer that we're gonna be wasting it, like, cause he's getting old. I don't know how much longer he's gonna be alive, and we don't have any ways of cooking up claimants on more land right now. It's all it's as fast as. It's as fast as our chancers will live. I, I maybe shouldn't have eaten ours, but whatever. Uh, yeah, we'll get a kitty cat. Mm -hmm. We're just cooking. Let's make a move. Women. When that cut, when that pops up, what that usually means uh, we'll, we'll go poet. Um, that usually means is you'll get like a lover, and you can you know do adult things with said lover, and that will create babies. But those babies, since they aren't your, you're not legally married to her, um, they're bastard. They're bastard childs, and bastards. Can, and, and there he goes. He finally broke and donned himself in new armor. Apparently. Alright, so. Got one pretender to the throne, which I believe is our. Nope, our kinsman. I'm a little nervous. Okay. Uh, let's arrange a betrothal for you, Princess of Lombardy. I, Lombardy. You, Lombardy. He, she, me, Lombardy. Alright, so. Cool. We just set ourselves up. That's not good. He might have just gotten eaten. What do we what do we got here? Slow fever looks like. I'm pretty sure he's about to get it. He's only he's only three. Yep. Ugh. Nice. I should have explained that a bit more. My apologies. Hey, yeah, you lose it. Once this guy hits five, I'm going to show you Guardians, the Guardians, um, because that has a huge effect. It's actually age six, um, but that has a huge effect on what they become. What is that? What? The Dancing Plague. Interesting. Lombards want to make a proper alliance. Sure. Why not? What in Rome, you know? Oh, that's the other thing. Ooh, looks like we lost Erbo. Boom. Boom. Let's see here. How are we doing? Okay. Just tax an Ur thing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Send you Let's go study some tech. Just yeah, study all the tech. Alright. Yeah, when he turns six, right? Or is it five? Okay. Yeah, you have to be six. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh, well, he kind of likes me now, so at least I think we'll be okay. Alright, so this is giving us the option to either make a rival or make a friend. I prefer having friends over rivals just because you get some wild things go down if you have a rival. Um, they'll, they'll definitely go out. They're out for your, out for your blood. Alright, so our boy is six now. We're going to sign a guardian. So guardians are basically like their caretakers in a sense, but what they will do is they will pass on um, their skills and traits to the kid. So you want to make sure you pick a pretty decent guy. So right now we got our kinsman. I, I always just personally look at Marshall and stewardship just because like immediately out of the gate, 
those are the things that are going to affect you or immediately out of the gate in the sense of uh immediately out of the gate in the sense of when you become your own standalone king and don't have a regent um or when you just become a, when you become an adult so this guy's pretty decent pretty high marshal or high marshal pretty high uh stewardship so we'll we'll stick with him uh there we go well we got a lot of dough i just realized all right let's okay build menu i knew there was something i told you i was gonna show and i forgot the build menu so these will have each one of these each each different type of building will have different options for it you know like the hospital have its own options all they do is they some of them will provide will, will provide more troops or provide a few more options like the shipyard and stuff but otherwise all of these will just have their own little personal upgrades so the castle walls will give us a larger levy more tax income and a higher floor level if you if you're playing on feudal always make sure you have castle walls it's super cheap and you get a lot of bang for your buck so we're gonna make sure we build that we're gonna make sure everywhere actually has that so yeah this place has nothing boom 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 all right now that we got that going uh, there we already got castle walls here so we'll like cavalry all right So yeah, that, that's the thing. We've like gone many years now without even uh Alright, I'll make uh, yeah, I'll make sure you marry no, not to my mom. That's not a good idea. Um uh, take the prestige. Alright, looks like now that's a problem is our half brother here. Uh, the bastard child he might pose some problems for us down the road and by might i mean he definitely will like he's high on intrigue i wouldn't be surprised if he um if he tries to uh try to take me out all right here is a very important message that will come up whether doesn't matter what dlc you have so our chaplain just came to us and was like, yo, bro, I got this new religion called the Fracticelli religion, and I have embraced it, and I want you to embrace it as well. So, if you, now the thing is, here here he is right here. This is our, this is our bishop, this is the guy talking to us right now, or our, whatever it's called, our chaplain. And it's red. Yo, know, we have just a regular, good old-fashioned Catholic gold cross here. His is red. The reason why it's red is because this is the game saying, yo, this is a heresy. This is a Catholic heresy, which means none of the Catholic kingdom, <coughs> excuse me, is okay with us taking that. If we were to adopt this right now, other kingdoms could be like, yo, we're going to have a holy war against you because you're a heretic. We are like, if you're big enough, you can, you can swing it. it. It won't be that big of a deal. But right now, that would be a horrible thing to do. So, we're going to arrest him. It's a bummer because he was a pretty decent chaplain. Throw him in jail. Get up a new guy. And why do you... Oh, mainly just because... Mainly just because my defense is still too big. I know, I know. Alright, looks like we can do it again. Bump that up and ship building. Uh, no, 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 no. I want to make sure because if she starts, if my mom starts popping off babies right now, those are those are people who have like claimants to the throne, and we don't want that. We just want to deal with our one brother, half brother, nobody else, no other half brothers here. How old are you? Thank you. Oh, this is taking forever to get a new claim going. Hell yeah, you're gonna just stay there, bro. I don't need you around. 
as we can see our, our little junior here age 10 he's already going he's already picking up Marshall pretty damn quick here some stewardship going as well he's he's kind of becoming a smart little cookie here uh -oh. what do you got oh, and looks like our princess is oh, cool no stop it I know exactly what you're trying to do and I don't want it man we cannot keep a chaplain to save our lives they keep dying here how old are you 54 my god we're just running out of a retirement clinic here on uh, these old dudes of being chaplains. Oh, do we have anything better? No, we don't. The struggle bus is real right now. All right, here we go. So our uncle, the Flare. Oh, wow, that's, a, that's a quite the title to have, my friend. He's like, yo, Wessex, yo, last bro, he could, I need you to come in here. And we're about to go to battle. Looks like it's... A friend, it looks like they're having a revolt, and he's like, yo, you can either accept it or decline it. Obviously, we're going to accept it, because that's a huge blow to our prestige, and I mean, honestly, like, like a little, uh, little just FYI, you can say you're going to battle, and you can accept it, and you don't ever have to show up. And the thing is, is that, like, there's not a whole lot of downside to taking, taking the battle, except if you, like, actually do muster your troops and go off to war because sometimes it can help you know if they're if they're doing like a vying for independence or things like that or they're like trying to take over a piece of land mass obviously it's better to have bigger allies um but if you send your troops off to war to fight you know you might have a vassal that's like yo this is my time to uh claim independence and or someone else to declare war on me and if your guys are halfway across the ocean fighting well then that kind of makes things oh no 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 we are not making we are not making him the spy master because so you know we got we got our different council members here but linking it back to the plots the intrigue your spy master if if you your spy master can very easily plot to kill you they can make it real quick and why would we have our half-brother, the guy who has a claim to the throne, like, if we gave him that leverage, he would just, he would definitely kill our guy. <laughs> this kid would, would be going down hard. So, we're not allowing that. Not in this life. We're gonna build a little hospital here. Nice. Uh, oh, okay, fine. Well, then give me ambitious then, bro. Alright. Uh, what just happened? Oh no! He was so good too. All right, well let's sign another guardian of me, I guess. No. No. Mm -hmm. No, we're not signing to him. All right, you're okay. Neato burrito. We are getting some dough right now. Benjamin, let's see that. We're just making friends left and right here. Ugh. So that took a hit on a demand size. That's no bueno. Ooh, we gained a Roth trait. That's, well, helps on the Marshall side, but, uh, fish. Slowly moving here. Come on, give me a fabricated claim. My God, I'm not asking for much here. Man, people hate me. That's well, probably because my demands. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. It's, it's way too big. Our demand size is way too large. Getting some of that sweet culture. We need that because maybe, hopefully. What happened? White piece. All right, we are our own man. Now, let's get this show on the road. It looks like here. Yep. Got a boom, bop, bang. All right. Boys married. Start having some kids. 
Hmm, this is a tough one. I think I'm gonna go hunting for that guy. Um, I get for some reason, like see the realm prosper. If we do, we get global revolt reduced by one. I feel like it. I, I just feel like the game sees that and it's like, oh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna give you the claim so you can just go fight. So we'll see if that actually works. I right, we're gonna make you prosper a bit. Let's choose our regent. All right, you seem nice. Let's get some more commanders up in here. Let's, let's actually promote one. These guys aren't that good. You suck. Right, one more. Okay, there we go. That guy's good. Ah. Boom. We we're cooking. We got, we got everything we need. Okay, our council's happy with us. We're doing just fine. Someone just give me a guy who will last long and give me a claim. My God, I just I just need some claims. Hmm. Now I wonder. I wonder. I wonder if no. Man, I don't know how to do that. This will, this will have to be something I investigate later because I just can't figure that out right now. All right, anyways. Uh, let me search that military tech, bruh. Bruh. What do you want? Austria? Sure, why not? Where are you? Oh, you're just a little guy, aren't you? Ooh, looks like West Francia became a lot bigger. So that's sweet, sweet prestige. Let's build a shipyard so we get at least a couple ships going here. Oh yes, finally, finally, let's start our engines. Ooh, he has more guys than us, but this will be a good learning point here. I will talk about the magical world. Of mercenaries so we just got our fabricated claim here um, right a little here so it's gonna happen here King Hopkin the gentle and declare war on him but as we see -na -na -na, he has more dudes than us is that a problem could be but it won't be because we're gonna call our troops up and I'll meet in Wessex and then we're gonna do something a little fun I'm gonna hire mercenaries See, now we have this wonderful, great list of mercenaries, usually ranging from like 1,800 people, 1,500 people, oh, that's actually a pretty decent deal, uh, all the way up to 4,000. But the thing is, is that this is not a one-time cost. You get a monthly cost. See, there are 32 gold. Now, you might be thinking, whatever, I'll just buy 4,500 dudes, and I'll just have them steamroll them, and then we'll be fine, right? Last Ready Kid? Wrong. What can happen here is that if you run out of money while you have um, mercenaries in your group, they can turn on you. They can say, you know what, we're going to declare war on you now and we're going to take what's ours. And honestly, I've like it, it, it gets to that point if I like have mercenaries turn on me that I usually just scrap the game because it usually means that things are going pretty poorly for my kingdom. Um, they can also just say whatever, we're not fighting for you anymore, which is the nicer thing. But uh, I'm pretty sure that if they turn on you, they will just take over your kingdom. So you don't want to do that. So we went with the bargain buy. We went with 1,500 guys, which is more than enough to tip this scale. So I see we're waiting for them to get ready. Boom, we're ready. Uh, man, our commanders suck. Whatever, we're going for it. Boom, blah, blah, blah. Boom. The thing I love fighting against Cornwall is because they just have like this little this little stretch of land here. They got nowhere to go. They can't. So we're just going to pursue right into them. Boom. Alright, let's siege this place. We could probably disband. I'll, I'm going to give them one more Wampin. And, uh, and then we'll probably disband the mercenaries. Alright. Took out a hundred of them. Yeah, they've got three hundred dudes left. See you later, guys. Thank you for your 
Services rendered. All right. Oh, uh oh. We got mains. Oh, we're one handed. That's no good. The half hand. Ha! Huh. That's an interesting title for us. Took it with the help of our mercenary buddies. And, uh, and the kingdom of Wessex grows once more! Alrighty. Now we're gonna set our chancellor onto New Horizons here. Escort chaplain go in. Boom. But we also need to... Now thinking about the wonderful thing of... Let's play the Make Some Vassals time. Looks like our dude here, he kind of likes us. Osred of Ramsbury. I'm going to give you Devon. Congratulations. Don't go spending it all in one place. And you know what I'm also going to do? Just so I can make sure that I don't ever have to deal with this again, I'm going to give you what? Okay. I don't know why you will only take him. But whatever. So now he's going to start his own little family. Hopefully. How old are you? Oh, yeah, you got plenty of time. Plenty of time. Yeah, let's keep it coming. Keep them cultural advances. Boom. Legalism, too. Booyah! Folks, let's uh let's get some babies going, you know? How old are you? Yeah, you're you're still prime childbearing move. Let's go. Ooh, what happened here? Oh no. Oh god no. Oh, that's gonna make things rough. Alright, so like I said with marriages, you can obviously um Inherit some pretty wild stuff. And what it looks like here is Picklin, the guys up here, the present day Scots, oh, just inherited one of the largest kingdoms, like the second largest kingdom in England. So they're kind of beefy now. I don't, not really right now, but they will be. So that's, that's gonna, I've, I've had that happen before and it just makes the battle so long. Like they, like when we start pulling our troops together and they start pulling theirs together, like there's going to be some fights. All right, come on, guys. Who's who is holding out? Give you some money. Will that help you speed things along here? All right, what do you got? See, where are you? you know, you're just this little. You're like this little guy. I'm not gonna. You're gonna pull me into some things I ain't want to see. Now, did I not call it or did I not call it? Look at this is. I wish I could show you a still of what was before and what is now. Like, look at Saxony is huge. Poland didn't unite. It's not even that hard to unite Poland. Shit is going down. I ain't. Hell no. You guys can figure that shit out on your own. Probably doesn't help to do that while we're, uh. I want to sit here. Probably doesn't help to do that. While I'm getting trying to get a law passed, but hey, that's you know, decisions are decisions. So. Boom, 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 boom. Want you in my room? Yes. Give me a boy. Give me a boy. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Mm -hmm. Boop, boop, boop. Give me some of them commanders. I'm just probably gonna do that. That's make things a little bit easier. Bop, 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 bop. All right. Looking pretty good right now, honestly. Like, we're. Accept it, Hunter. Alright. Got ourselves a sweet boy. Fill that ambition. And the only thing left, I guess, is to become the King of England! Which won't happen in your lifetime. I'm sorry, bud. Unless you're. Unless our Chancellor just starts hustling. Honestly, I'm fine if she dies. I only want to deal with one son. Oh, you still went away anyway. Oh, man. All right, whatever. I'll make a keep here. Oh, guys, pa 
pass the law, please. Like, this doesn't even affect you in any way. I don't understand why we're, like, dragging our feet on I even bribed you. Oh, oh, oh. Shut them gates. Oh. Oh, man, our white type of cancer. That's a... That is a tough break. Ooh, Wow. Cancer and smallpox, just the double whammy. That's a bummer. What do you want from me? Stop it. Not really a whole lot. Oh, close enough, cancer. Yeah. There's that. Close our son. He's two. Is it done yet? No. Oh, God. I didn't even realize that. Well, it looks like we're going a little Alabama on this. Marin and our cousin. You know, let's 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 just a little uh Oh my god, Chancellor, please give me something here. This is such a struggle. Such a struggle. Smash field D. Oh boy. Like I said, this is where like you're just kind of sitting on your hands, you know, just not really doing a whole lot. It's the only it's the only uh the only bummer about feudalism. Whereas, like, some of these others, like, you can have some crazy wild... I mean, like, the bigger your kingdom is, like, the more wilder stuff that will happen to you, undoubtedly. Ooh, wife is pregnant. I wonder if it's going to be inbred, since we're cousins. Nice, I got all these fun stuff when we have a doe. A doe. Date a doe. So, baby girl, that's fine. Duke of Providence. <laughs> really nothing there. Can't wait a little bit longer. We got time. Look at I always forget that they have Iceland in here. I mean, obviously not easy to get to, but. Tiny little Essex, growing, growing, growing. Take some kings, but oh my god, I just realized. Oh, I lost people. Oh my god, people. I'm about to start imprisoning you. But liquors. What do I gotta do here? What? Is it because my diplomacy is a little low? Is that what we're going at? Hell no, I'm not lowering the taxes for you guys. What are you guys going to do about it anyways? Let me tell you, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Alright. Ugh, god. The Vikings are relentless.
Boom, 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 boom. Oh, it's forever. Oh, all right, yeah, let's go hunt this white stamp. Let's do it. Epic hunting shall be what is the template. Love it going on. Boom, boom, boom. Agatha of the Wilds. Ain't that some? Right, since our marshal's kind of on a pretty big uptick here, I think I might uh, might switch over our focus. Alright, I guess so. Let's see here. I'm gonna go with you. Let's go with you. you. Alright, oh shit. I guess we'll just take it all. Alright, we got someone to jump sides. I don't know who. Usually they're pretty fast to do it if, um, like you win a war. Like, they, people really like that. Build a keep in our own capital. Ah, oh, my dog died. Alright, sometimes I'll just move around. I don't think it does anything, but it just helps me uh. like calm down. Ooh. Like that. Boom. Sometimes it just happens. Like, pa pow. Boom. Let's see here. How to dominion. Oh, yeah, well, how the hell are they going to get there? You know? Ooh, looks like that kingdom broke up a little bit. Form an alliance, shall we? My dear old cousin of mine. All right. Well, you might have that little. That little pooper of one but we have flipping middle west francia here to throw bows if we need to so as abraham lincoln once said i ain't scared of you go with heavy infantry all right yeah see and like military wise i always put a big emphasis when i'm feudal I knew you were going to do that um, on uh, heavy infantry just because, as we can see, feudal, is, feudal lords put a lot of people as heavy, heavy infantry. So we're doing the same. And we are just crushing them right now. They, their armies are too small to take on anything, so they're just running around with their chi like, a, like a chicken with their head cut off. Boom. We'll take it. Okay. This will be the last, or actually, you know what, I'm going to start the next video with it. it. This, we will talk about titles. But, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, this was Last Rohican, and as always, as always, 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 happy gaming gamers.